Ivan, thank you for that. Now at six, there's a break in the case. After more than two decades, police say the man behind a murder and armed kidnapping is behind bars. Police say Kareem Lightborn is the man behind a string of violence. CBS News Miami's Yvonne Taylor joins us live from the Broward Sheriff's Office headquarters near Fort Lauderdale, and he explains how police managed to track down this fugitive. Yvonne. Yes, Elliot and Naja, it was the FBI who arrested the suspect. They handed him over to the Broward Sheriff's Office. And although federal agents are not saying how they found him and captured him, this document from local police is stating that authorities knew that the suspect had left to an island in the Caribbean over two decades ago. Well, recently they found him somewhere else. My heart is at joy. I tell you the truth, my heart is at joy because at least I don't have to wonder and wonder and wonder anymore. He has to pay the price. Navlet Williams is the mother of Kirk Ennis. Her son was 23 years old when he was shot and killed on December 2nd, 2002 in Lauderhill. According to Broward Sheriff's Office, Kareem Lightburn, now 47, committed the crime. The subject showed up in Broward's bond court this morning. He refused a public defender. I would like to uh, wait to... Uh... With the private According to documents from the Broward Sheriff's Office, Lightburn flew to Turks and Caicos Island. However, agents from the FBI arrested him recently in the Dominican Republic. Corinne Lightburn allegedly entered the residence of his ex-girlfriend in Lauderhill in December of 2002. Ennis was in the apartment. Police say he shot and killed Ennis. Apparently, the suspect thought the victim was dating his ex-girlfriend. Was your son dating Monifa? No, to my understanding, I get to understand that he wanted to, was to keep a dance or something. So they, he went there, whatever they were, at a club. That is my, what I heard. He was at a club and then he planned to must have meet at the house. Not only the mother suffered for over two decades, a whole family wondered if anybody would ever be held accountable. Today's news changed that. I feel good. <laughs> yeah, good news for us. The victim's aunt shared pictures of her nephew with CBS News Miami. She said she was looking at them today, reminiscing moments in 2002. I feel that sickness hurt me up until now. I'm sick until now. What do you want now, Mom? I asked the mom of the victim. Justice. I need justice. I need to know the reason why. That's my main thing. I need to know the reason why they kill him. Now, the armed kidnapping charge that Kareem Lightburn faces, according to this document, is because he would have attempted to kidnap his ex-girlfriend. But she then later confessed to police that she was never kidnapped and she voluntarily got on the cart with the suspect. All this is expected to come out in court. Now, the suspect is expected to find out tomorrow if he'll be entitled to bond. We are live in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Ivan Taylor, CBS News. Miami.